So the randomizer tool, if I have a, a series of objects, so I'm going to have just a multiple shapes so that you can see them all. And if I select them all, let me make this a little bit bigger. If I select them all, so I'm holding the shift key down to select all of these objects, I can go to the randomize. And it randomizes their size, it randomizes their position, it randomizes their rotation. So all of the objects that I had selected are now in different positions. And I can continue. It looks really cool if you have like a whole lot of things. And I'll show you an example. So there's the, the torus. It's really tiny down there. Um, and you can... Um, mess with the settings, of course, as you can mess with pretty much anything. If you want them to be um, uniform, so now they're uniform in, in line, but they're also uniform in scale, or you can have them along kind of a curve, a, a normal kind of curve um, as far as distribution. So you can take a look at that, and then um, again, you can you can mess with just about any of the settings. Let me try something else. So I'm going to delete this. In the last tutorial, I had um, a box and I was showing you the arrays, but I'm going to do a grid um, and then randomize this grid. So I have this grid and I'm going to randomize it. And it would be a really kind of cool look for a starry sky. And I can so all of the rotation and the scale and stuff, if I take this down to one, uh, zeros, now they're all uniform, which kind of gives its own neat a little effect. I'm going to put that back to 90. And um, here's the scale. So I can, some of, they're wider, but they're wider in different places. I can stretch it out and scatter them a little bit more with some of these. other axes a little bit, but I can see a starry sky, or if I have a, a junk drawer of objects in there and I want to scatter some things in there, um, you can you can mess with some of these. Now there's um, something called a seed, and a seed is kind of like if I plant a seed to grow a flower, um, let's say a tulip, these are all tulips, they're all rectangles, but they look different when they pop up from the ground. So if I have a rose and I plant another seed, it grows a rose, but it looks slightly different. If I plant another seed, it grows a rose, but it looks slightly different. So the seed is kind of like, how it's the same kind of thing, but another option for it um, in the way that it randomizes, it scatters everything. So that's the randomize tool that's under this menu. You come down to, um, you highlight what you want to randomize and you select the randomize. Um, option.